Remove HEPA filter and upper back panel. Cut zip ties along vacuum lines and brush block wiring. We removed a spindle motor assembly to improve your view. Unplug spindle motors and coating catch reservoirs. Label tubing and wires. Loosen the three set screws on spindle motor hub. Loosen the two Allen bolts on lock collar. Pull rotary union out of brush block and remove from assembly. If you are replacing rotary union only, leave brush block cords in the hub assembly. Note, the two holes on the bottom of the rotary union need to slide over studs in swing arm hub. Place rotary union in brush block. Place labeled tubing and cords in appropriate holes in the hub. Rotate the bottom part of the rotary union until the holes slide over the studs in the hub. Apply grease on bottom part of rotary union assembly. Push rotary union into brush block until the lock collar set bolts fit into the groove on the bottom part of the rotary union. Tighten the two Allen bolts to connect the rotary union to the brush block. As you push the rotary union and brush block into hub, pull on the tubing to ensure they do not kink. Once in place, tighten the three set screws on the swing arm hub to hold brush block and rotary union in place. Reconnect spindle motor cords and vacuum lines. Zip tie the brush block cord to vacuum lines, making sure that the cord is not able to rotate with the assembly.